Still undefeated, here is Hamzat Shimaev making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's going to be a UFC champion, and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster, you know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Hamzat Shumayev is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you laid eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling. He has great striking. He has great cardio. The guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds, but this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. Hamza Chimaya ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. middleweight king, the Reaper, Robert Whittaker. Back-to-back -back wins over Yoel Romero. Hard to quantify, though, how difficult those 50 minutes against Yoel Romero were and what type of toll it might take on Whittaker here moving forward. Yes, but after the Romero fight, there was a lot of time in between fights for Whittaker, which allows you to recover. Because you hear the stories about the guys that say they fight Yoel. No one's like him. No one feels like right. him. But Robert Whittaker was able to managed that over the course of two very, very difficult fights. And he was able to do that because of the fantastic cardio, the great wrestling mentality, and also the unbelievable striking and the ability to stare down the barrel of a loaded shotgun in Yoel yeah. Romero's left hand and feel safe. That allowed Robert Whitaker to keep his belt in both of those instances. And we knew from his debut in 2012 that he would be something special. He has certainly been every bit that. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, Hamzat Bosh Jemaya! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Robert the Reaper! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, comes out Chimaya back on the proven ground, and you can hear the crowd response with everything that this man does. If he gets a takedown, a huge pop. If he lands a jab, a huge pop. A lot of people feel like in this matchup, though, Hamzat's going to be trying to take the fight to the ground and to work his submission game from there. Let us see how Hamzat approaches the early portions of this particular round. Blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to us. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three to five rounds to No healing out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Let's keep it up. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Hamza Chimaya. Now he's going full mount. Back to his feet. Takedown defense is there. Switch the land. 
perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. There's the kick, it's blocked. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. In this. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. And there's another takedown attempt. Shemaya's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, nice calf kick there by Robert Whitaker. Every strike you would want in your arsenal is a world-class mixed martial arts striker. Robert Whitaker has, and that's one he's added to the repertoire over the last few fights. One of the most important strikes in the country is this big body shot. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Chimaya. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, there's the horn. How about that one? All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big one. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Second ahead. round here. Stay in. Stay on those stay in. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. Pretty good elbow there from the bottom as he continues to stay active off of his back. Oh, some big elbows landing for him now. Shimaev's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong too long for himself to get some. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Chimaya. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. The other one. Yep. Up in the left hand. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to let well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Shimaev's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Oh, it's getting very, very deep. This submission defense, he is out of danger again. He recognized the danger, got himself out of it, and now he fights it. Yeah, nice ankle. Gets right back up. Oh, he landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Great defense by this fight. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend, but you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Whitaker's in half guard now. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. He worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Ten minutes in the books. All right, 
right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least he doesn't. Ready. Ready. Third Go. round underway. Oh, nice jab by Whitaker. Oh, great block there. Stuff to take down, no problem. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take his uppercuts from this position. Oh, big shot, man. Level change there. Goes for the takedown. Shimaev's in half court. Side control now. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Getting him out here. He's got to be careful here. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, trying to pass here, but to keep armbar. Oh my goodness, I think he might have it. Trying to finish the armbar now. All he's got to do now is get his hips up into the back of the elbow to get the finish. Back and forth we go. This might be it, though. This cannot happen much longer. No way. He got out. This is a guy that never gives up on himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the arm bar. The fight was done. And he loves to fight on. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Whitaker's right back to the full mount here. Oh, some big punches raining down here. Picking his spots well and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily. Posturing up and making these shots count. I mean, why would he have so much success? Separation between the two fighters. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let, let you off the hook. You've gotta move, you gotta change something to try to turn him to go into that spot. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. What a round it was for him, DC, and of course the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to get. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't. Ready to fight. Ready. Four. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five, five minutes. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Robert Whitaker. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Single, yes. Shimaev's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, big shots from the top. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Shimaev's in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. It looks like some swelling is forming after that ground and pound strike lands. Heavy shots, go! Heavy shots! He's got to be careful here. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. In the half guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. 
The ground strikes starting to pile up. Oh, looks like he's going for an arm bar here. How tight is that? Oh, looks like he's got the... Again, good awareness by the defensive fighter. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Hamza Chimai. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, hammer fist here by Chimai. Watch our bar here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. Submission defense by this young man. Oh, good defense, yes. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Multitude of elbows now. Shimaev's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. He passed the half guard. Good work from the top here by Hamza Chimaya. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Chimaev's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. 20 minutes down, five to go. Great job. Your submission work looks awesome. We're moving into the last. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. <laughs> Able to block that one. He's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Well, he's got his back now. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his... Whitaker's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Oh, how about the volume elbows? Oftentimes we see an elbow and it's one and done, not the case here. He's so confident with those elbows. He's so good at getting it tight and just throwing them back to back that they do land. Well, sometimes our staff guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, that has got to be it. That's tight. Oh, he got out. He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards his opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. Change of the position. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy who's super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, that crimson red, is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Fighters are inverted now on the ground. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Deuce trying to finish the fight. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. 
all-out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, the official decision, decision is now in. Here is Bruce Bounds. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Robert the Reaper Whitaker! Well, he's still on the right side of 30, and Robert Whitaker just continues to add to what is already the best legacy for an Australian fighter in UFC history. There is nothing this man cannot do inside that octagon, as you saw here tonight. Congratulations to the Reaper, Robert Whitaker.